Hello everyone, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art, and I am back again with yet another character from Outlander, and I think I'm just going to keep working my way on through. Now, as you can see, I am doing the main character of Outlander, Claire Fraser, or Claire Randall Beecham. Well, Claire Beecham Randall Fraser, however you want to slice it. Of course, at the beginning, you could see that I started to sketch and then disappeared and this sketch appeared. What happened there was, once again, I had a malfunction with my programs, so I just went ahead and did the sketch and then went on coloring. Hopefully, you know, I can get the updates and everything will work and then I won't have to do that every time. But nonetheless, yes, I have finally made my way to Claire Fraser. Now, the reason that it took me so long to draw her is that I was just super excited to draw my favorite characters and of course my favorite character is Jamie and I love Lord John and Murtaugh. Those are just characters that are close to my heart and so I was really excited to get to draw them to see who else would like to see that. And then Claire, I was looking forward to drawing her as well but I have a bit of a harder time with like curly hair and also she just has this look about her that I was a little intimidated about drawing so I uh, I was kind of saving and biding my time to hopefully get a little bit better at drawing that kind of figure and face and everything so that I could draw her. So, um, normally I do, dr I do tend to draw women and uh, females a lot more often just because it's easier for me you know uh, teaching yourself how to draw you usually start by doing self-portraits, and of course, I am a woman, so I, I got very comfortable in drawing those features, and I want to be good at both, which is why you often see me do a bit of this and that. Of course, my favorite characters are often the men in things. That's just because there's a lot of lead characters that are men that I just really appreciate. And of course, women too. Women too. Claire is the woman She's the character, the person that many of us envy and dream to be. She is ambitious, she is strong-willed, and she has Jamie Fraser, who loves her unconditionally, and she gets to love him. Who doesn't want that? I don't know, but I know that for certain I do, and I am so jealous or envious of her. I just... <laughs> Yeah, I, th I wish I was in her position, even though a lot of bad things happen, I understand. But I'm just saying, the chance to uh, be with Jamie in that whole relationship... <sighs> to die for, I would say. For the scene that I chose to draw her in, I felt it was only fitting that I drew her in her iconic fancy red dress she designed in Paris to go to Versailles the first time. That episode, I love that episode. It's just, for Outlander, I think it's probably one of the ones that has the most comedic timing and sense to it, in the sense of, like, uh, going to see the king, you know, the dressing of the king, and the whole back and forth repertoire, and Jamie about the dress being like I can see all the way down to your third rib and I can see down to your navel and you're gonna need a bigger fan I love that whole thing just that episode makes me laugh every time my favorite part is when Jamie pushes uh, Mr. Duvenet off the bridge and into the water after he had attempted to get too close to Claire for her liking <laughs> Even though they needed a favor from him, he didn't know who it was. Jamie just saw he was all over Claire. She pushed him off, and Jamie pushed him off the bridge without a second thought. And I love that. I usually rewind that part and play it again. And so I just felt like with this outfit being so recognizable for her, so big, so grand, it also made it so much more fun to draw it because of the memories I associate it with. Um, I really, really love the color of this dress. I just find the fabric and the way it was made is just 
unbelievably gorgeous. And who else better to pull off Claire than Katrina Balf? No one has that air about her except her. She knows how to have that proud, like, hold my head up high kind of attitude about her without even saying very much. And that, that is remarkable. And I think she's definitely a good match to pair with Sam Hewn as Jamie. And also, I love the fact that they are friends. Katrina Balfe is someone I really admire. I'm very glad to follow her on social media and see the things that she's up to and to see the little pictures that she and Sam take each other in and get excited about and things that they support. I really enjoy just really getting deep into the show and the actors who play the characters because it makes you feel more connected to them in a way. It feels kind of like a family. Of course I understand it's not a real family, but as a fandom kind of thing, it's nice to have that little bit of recognition, a little bit of connection with the people and the characters that you really admire. One of the things I found a little bit difficult about drawing her is really getting her face structure right because she has a very distinct shape to like the planes of her face, the way the light hits it, and the shapes of her cheeks. Not just like her bone structure, but the shapes of the muscle and the way that it lays over and the skin over top of the muscles onto her skeletal frame. I found that a little bit challenging, and so I kept going back and tweaking it. Now this isn't meant to be 100% photorealistic, this is more to be a bit more stylized portrait of what I do, which is slightly on the more realistic side, but again, not realism. The moments I really enjoy Claire's character the most is probably when I get to see her with children in the way that she treats children. I think it's very endearing because most of the time you see her being very, having to stand up for herself and being outspoken and you know her quote, I'm not the meek and obedient type. It's nice to see that softer side of her, which she does show with Jamie, yes, but I like seeing her with children just because you can really see the genuine excitement she has seeing them and she just wants to make them happy. Like when she saw wee Jamie for the first time and she just went up to him and introduced herself to him, I thought that was very endearing and sweet. And when she got to hold her newborn, Brianna, for the first time and the way she looked at her and the smile on her face, I... Those are very heartwarming moments. I love seeing those moments. And of course, who doesn't love to see her and Jamie together? Really, like when they're just all over each other and it's back and forth banter, the wittiness, she can really keep up with him, <laughs> with his humor. I also love the fact that she is a terrible liar and that Jamie can spot it out a mile away. And even to the point where Claire has to pretend to be unconscious just so she can get away with lying. Even Fergus knew she needed to do that. All of Claire's outfits are beautiful. My favorite ones, of course, are the ones from France, including this dress. My absolute favorite dress I think she's worn so far is the one that's like the deep, deep, dark blue with the reddish pink floral embroidery on it and it has the matching hooded jacket with the button up that she wears in France. That I am so jealous of her costumes. They look absolutely incredible. I, I couldn't imagine. A lot of those dresses were actually hand painted too. So she is such a lucky woman to get to wear those dresses and to just to have this job. I really, I really am just so looking forward to season six of Outlander and I cannot wait to see what happens next. Her performance in season five was, I don't even have the words for it for the season finale, and I won't spoil it. It was so hard to watch, but she really, really pulled it off. And I think I speak for many when I say I was blown away by that performance. 
in that whole episode. It was a lot to handle and a lot to deal with, but I think that throughout the season she's really pulled her character through so much and you can see all the wear and tear of all the past experiences that she's had. I also thought it'd be fitting to put the 40s music on this. I wish I could have used Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, but I didn't want to get copyrights on my video for the sound or have the video taken down, so I just ended up using some royalty-free music from YouTube that is 40s style. I liked when in season 1 they incorporated a little bit of the 40s music into when she was in the past because you could still feel her character and the way she thought in her head and it kind of like spilled out into the atmosphere. My favorite season is still season one. I think a lot of people also say that. Of course, I enjoy all of the seasons, but season one will always have a special place in my heart. I only wish that all the seasons could have as many episodes as season one. <laughs> and here we go. I'm signing my painting, and here is the final piece, Claire Fraser. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please make sure to like this video and to subscribe. And I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I can't believe it. Thank you so much, you guys. I have something special planned for 100 subs, so stay tuned.